It's the first release, if you will, and the fan was like a lawnmower. We could see what that sounds like. In That's pretty loud. They sent me the original case. I never did the review on the original. It's just been sitting around my house for a while. Then they just sent me the new case here. So as you can see, the actual cases are the exact same. They both say NES case. Oh, the new case does have a QR code on it. Um, and then the back, similar. Their website, compatible with Raspberry Pi 3, 2, and B+. So for those of you that have an older Pi, this will work. Um, and it also includes the screwdriver, the fan, and the case. So it is a complete case. Now once I open these up, you'll see a lot of people um, they call it the VCR case because it really is not like an NES case in that it um, doesn't look like an NES at all. So uh, you get a little insulation notes and uh, screws. Let's see if there's any difference on this new one. We need to remember which one's which. I'm going to keep the new one on the right. So same screwdriver. This time the screws were inside the case, I guess. Everything in the case looks the same. Um, the biggest difference I think is going to be this fan. I mean, they look the same from this side. Huh. I mean, they're the exact same fans. I wonder if it's just they clock the fan speed lower. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in the original. Put this one back in the new. So now we're left with the original and a brand new Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead and mount in our fan. So this is the new one. The new one does not come with the fan pre-screwed in. So you have the, the four fan screws. Go ahead and screw those in. Go ahead and get this Pi opened up. This does relocate your power. If you see the powers right there, it should go straight out, but they relocate it down a little further. Remember, typically the Pi, it goes, they're all vertical, so it does give you a little bit of a different look there, just like the Nest Pi case. Two short screws for the inner Pi, okay? This, this thing here, the black and the red, go all the way at the end of the GPIOs cables towards the front of the case. Two small screws go on the, if you're facing the ports on your Raspberry Pi, the USB ports go on the right side. The two longer bolts are gonna get go in there after you shut the case. Go ahead and hook up your, I think I probably should have done this before I mounted it in, but I think I can still make this fit. Just be wary. There you go, got it in. And then the USB goes in. And uh, you can always, um, again, I should have put it in. You should probably plug these in before you do the Pi, but you can actually get an extra two ports in that you could put little fobs inside of the Pi. For example, I could put my little Logitech USB inside. If you have like a Bluetooth dongle, or you have a, you know, an air mouse or something like that. I can actually keep my USB dongle in there and then shut the case, and then I'm still gonna get the four ports in the front as well. So it allows you now to have, you know, up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven USB ports with this case. So next up you have the fan. Uh, it does give you the positive and negative connectors here, so it looks like the negative is on the top positive closest to the front of the case. So we've got the fan installed, we've got the two screws on the Pi, we've got the uh, shutdown and fit and power and all that installed, USB connectors installed, LAN connection installed. Tuck that all nice and neat and then uh, go ahead and slap on the top. I don't know if you want to slap it on but however you want to do it. And uh, now we have our four, or I'm sorry, six long screws. Okay, using a little, your screwdriver works really well. Okay. Okay, so you got a little glossy accent there. You got the, I wonder if the red has a, has a thing on it. It might actually also have a thing. Oh.
Okay, it does have a thing. Okay, there we go. So make sure you take off the plastic. You got the one, two, three pieces of plastic there. All right, so there's the top. Not too shabby. You've got a total of two USBs here. You got a little LED indicator. Two more here. There's your micro SD slot. Not the easiest to get into, but I mean, it does have a little gap. If you have tweezers, it makes it even easier. Along the back, uh, no ventilation here, but you get the HDMI 3.5. Power is relocated. It's typically there. It's relocated there. And then on the last side, which is the, actually the left side, um, no ventilation, but you do get this little thing to get into the LAN port. So something people didn't like about the Nest Pi case is that the LAN port was in the front. It's no longer the case. But this looks nothing like the Nest Pi case, except you'll notice that the back is very similar to the Nest Pi case. You get the SD card storage. Let me open that up. Oh, it's hinged now. On the net on the Nest Pi case, it was just kind of the whole, it was two clips that pull the whole thing comes off. So now this is a little hinge. Look, it stays up. It's a little hinge right there. You get some more ventilation on the bottom, and you have the rubber grommets. Or it's kind of like a um, plastic. You could probably fit one, two, three, six SD cards in there, I'd say. So that shuts. Grippiness. I mean, pretty good. Not the best anti skip, but pretty good. So now let's test the fan noise, shall we? Wow. That is a quiet fan. So just for comparison, let's go ahead and add in the old one. What is it, red and black? Here we go. So it is the fan itself. I guess what does it sound like when it's in there? That's pretty loud. I mean, it's pushing air out though, like, it's going. <laughs> like this is, you could feel this hardcore. Okay, it feels like it's got to like run off the freaking rail there. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go ahead and put this back on and then put the case on. In comparison back to the new style. And then just for fun, let's go ahead and add in the um, the tiny Tendo case. Just for, you know. Yeah, this is this is definitely limiting the power outlet output to some extent. Yeah, it's very quiet on there. Okay, so there you have it. You got the working LED on the front, um, all the extra USB ports. Really nice little case. I mean, if you like the look, it's really cool. It's compact, it comes with the fan. It relocates your power. It relocates your USB ports to the front of the case. All your outputs are on the back of the case, except for the LAN, which is on the left side. It's got good ventilation. It's a cool, tricked out case for those reasons. A lot of people, I think, are still gonna prefer the Nest Pi case, but for kind of a different look, it's definitely great. The company that makes this is one of the first companies that came out with the Nest Pi case. So they've been doing this for a little while. This is the their, the name of their company that makes the actual cases, the Proceeds, but the actual company that sells it, um, the seller is called Yukishi, and you'll see that on 
Amazon. Uh, if you're interested, there'll be links in the description. Overall, since they fixed the fan, so I mean, I, I'm still feeling a lot of ventilation here. By them replacing the fan, I don't think you're getting any less performance, maybe a little less. It's still shooting that air out. So this is a great exhaust feature, really dissipates the heat that the Raspberry Pi produces. So not only is it a cool case, relocates things, it's a good price because it comes with a fan too. It's an interesting look, kind of an Atari slash VCR look. And for all those reasons, I'm gonna give this case an A minus. I mean, this is way cooler than a lot of the 3D printed cases you see out there. As far as like, it's, it's injection molded, it's got these little details, it's got ventilation, it relocates a lot of different things. It's got an on and off, and re it's got an on off reset switch. It's got little covers for the USB, so if you only have two player, uh, you know, all sorts of really cool things. It's got that SD card holder here. Some of the downsides, like I said, is A, it doesn't look anything like a NES, so I don't know why they put NES case. And then uh, the micro SD card's a little tough to get out if you have short nails, but not too bad. The, uh, the one thing you should know too is it is a hard reset and power, so you need to install the scripts to do it properly. But those are fairly simple things to do, and there's lots of videos on how to do that. So for all those reasons, this is getting an A minus. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.